everyone's bio, so I'm going to begin. Our first speaker is Marie Wood. So through contemplation on the crucifixion and resurrection events, and through the life-giving power of the Holy Spirit, Marie has been blessed with confident trust and hope to thrive in the midst of poignant life trials, particularly regarding a debilitating, life-threatening muscle disease called myotubular myopathy, which affects her two younger sons. God has redeemed suffering unto his glory in her personal and family life, and as she serves the worldwide community of families affected by myotubular myopathy, Marie and her husband David live with their four sons in the Bronx. Please help me welcome Marie Wood. Um, so we really have a lot to 
talking and I'm also an unofficial EMT. I've had to uh, look at my children when they've gone into distress and I've seen the light of life leave their eyes and I've had to suppress that mother's anguish and perform CPR and, and reach into that blackness and pull them back into light. And, you know, I'm not complaining because they brought so much beauty into my life that, that I just see them as blessings and, and truly images of God's grace. They give me so much. And, and we've learned new depths of God's faithfulness as we've gone through this journey. And so whenever, like, if, if you ever see me in worship and I'm crying, I don't want you to think I'm sad. It's, it's that I'm overwhelmed by, by that sense of God's compassion and, uh, and, and the grace and the strength he gives me to help them. And, and he also, what I find is that as I follow Christ's leadership and steward the gifts that he's given me, that I become a leader in the community as God entrusts me with broader responsibilities. And since 2009, I've been part of the core leadership team that plans and organizes the North American Myachibu Myopathy Central Nuclear Myopathy Family Conference. And so I've helped to refine the mission and, and really, um, you know, network with community, communities and families and researchers across the world. Um, and, and, and what my desire is, is to impart the hope that I have, living in the reality of such a great hope in Christ. I want to impart that hope to the people that I serve, and that I want them to see that um, in my life, that it's possible to, to, to engage the challenges of this journey with great hope and great joy. And, uh, you know, no journey is exactly alike, but, uh, you know, especially as leaders, we will all encounter challenges and diversity. And if we're willing to be sanctified, rather than bitter, um, you know, trials can teach us to be, to endure, to be patient, to be kind, to be brave, to be leaders as Jesus was a leader. Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, who came not to be served, but to serve. And just as he gave his life as a ransom for all, we also can love sacrificially and unconditionally as leaders. And as we are relying on him to overcome one obstacle after another, we begin to know his love with, with deep profundity and perfection. The love that drives out all fear. The love that never fails. The love that purifies us and makes us whole. And as Job wrote, he knows the way that I take. And when he has tried me, I will come forth as gold. If anybody knows Marie, she is a super woman. You know, she has four kids at home, two of them um, with life threatening diseases, but she's always the first to volunteer to say, I can do that, I can help do that. She's just a super woman. 